Good afternoon, Fantasy Bay. Mike Williams here, and we're going to go over another Week 6 game preview. And today we're going to be going over the Seattle Seahawks versus the Cleveland Browns. Let's get it started. All right, we're going to start with the quarterback. Russell Wilson has been amazing this year. He's averaging 32 points over the last four games. He had 268 yards, four touchdowns. Eight rushes for 32 yards. You'd love to see that. He has been light out. Normally, Russell Wilson does not start the year off very well, but he has put all that to shame. He has done amazing. So I'm very proud of Russell Wilson, and I think that he has another great game against Cleveland, who allows the 15th most points against the quarterback at 17.9. I think that Russell Wilson exceeds that for sure. All right, next we're going to go to wide receiver and Tyler Lockett. Uh, somebody who was previously known as a person that didn't catch very many balls is starting to revert back to that. So in week two and week three, he had 12 targets and 14 targets with 10 receptions and 11 receptions. That looks great. It's amazing. But in the last two games, he's had four receptions for four targets. He's catching what he's given, but he's only getting targeted four times. That's not great, but I have a feeling that that's not going to stay that way. He's still looking really good. 15 points last game. The game before that, he had nine. The game before that, he had 32. In the last four, he's been averaging 18.3. You love that. Uh, this last game, he had 51 yards, one touchdown. Still good. I mean, he's getting you a touchdown. He's a beast. Uh, DK Metcalf, he was one of my flyers from last week. He got 12 points, 44 yards, and a touchdown. He's really up and down. I don't think he's a week-to-week -week reliable type play, but in the right matchups, I think that he's a good play. Uh I do not think that this is the best of matchups, though. So I'm not projecting a touchdown from him. Uh, and I'm not starting David Moore. So next. Chris Carson. Man, I'm very pleased I drafted him in a few leagues. Uh, I have loved what he's done on the ground. Now, he didn't do what I thought he'd do in the air over this game. But on the ground, he's a beast. 27 rushes for 118 yards. You love to see that. Uh only one reception off of two targets, though. The previous game, he had four targets, four receptions, and then one target, one reception, three targets, three receptions. Look, he, Looks like he's catching the balls. He's just not getting targeted too many times. He's averaging 2.5 targets per game. Actually, technically 3.4 targets per game. Now, the Browns are not great against the running back so i definitely think chris carson has a good game i think he's a top 10 running back this week for sure uh rashad penny has been man he's still coming back from injury i'm not starting him personally you can definitely start you up some will disley though man will disley's looking great came out of nowhere averaging 17.5 points a game uh in the last four games that's been great he had he's catching his balls uh, four targets, four receptions. He had 81 yards. No touchdown this time, but he is definitely always a touchdown threat, and you can tell that they want to go to him, so I love it. All right, let's go to the Browns, who a lot of people, I'm not going to name names, said that they were going to be winning the Super Bowl. They were going to the Super Bowl. It has not been a very good start for them, needless to say. And Baker Mayfield had an abysmal game last game. Oh, my goodness. Negative one points. I know people that all they needed was two or three points for Baker Mayfield, and it was supposed to be an easy win. Easy win. Nope. Negative one points. He had 100 passing yards, two interceptions, and a fumble. Awful. God awful. And until further notice, I'm not relying on Baker Mayfield, to be honest with you. He has not played well this year. Averaging 11 points over the last four games. Uh, negative 1, 17, 11, 17. When's he going to have a good game? Uh, keeping him on the bench, if not dropping him. Uh, OBJ, Odell Beckham Jr., you can't drop this man. You can't. He's too elite. He's too good. He's too talented. You can't just drop him. 
So either you're going to trade him low or ride the wave. Week two, amazing, 28 points. This is the hotel I was looking for. This is what I was aiming for. This is why we drafted him. Then week three, it's like 11. All right, you know, everybody has a down game. Everybody's got a down game. The last two games, four, four? How, how the hell you get four? Seven targets, two receptions, week four. Six targets, two receptions, week five. That's garbage. 27 yards and a fumble. They're trying to get him involved any way they can. They're having him throw the ball. They're having him rush the ball. Uh, honestly, it's it's not looking good for Odell so far. I understand if you are selling him low. I'm not buying him currently because I don't like their... I, not only am I worried about Odell, but I'm also not liking their schedule coming up either. All right. Jarvis Landry. Jarvis actually been playing pretty all right. Last game, he had 24 points, eight receptions off of 10 targets, and 167 yards. Magnifico. Last week, 11 points. That's not terrible. 75 yards, four receptions. Yeah, I, he did all right. Now, Nick Chubb. This guy's been playing great. Uh, over the last four games, he's averaging 20.7 points. This last game, though, 10, yard, or 10 points. He had 16 attempts for 87 yards. That's okay. It's not great. It's all right. He only had an okay game, but you know what? Seattle is pretty decent against the running back, so I'm not foreseeing another 38-point game, but he should hover somewhere around 15 to 20. And that's actually the last person I'm talking about on this team. That'll do it for your week six game preview of the Browns versus the Seattle Seahawks. If you have any questions, hit me up. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Uh, good luck this week, Fantasy Bay.